Okay, uh, continuing on from the previous video, um, let me just uh, show the 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 influence of the jump on the movement keys. Um, so I've shown that uh, when you push the jump key, uh, you know all this stuff happens, and there's some disable and enable of of um, movement keys happening. So what that is doing is. Um, it's pretty much um, disabling on on this one. It's disabling the the attack. Okay, that makes sense, right? And um, on this one, it's disabling the um, this uh, released uh, event for the for the for the normal set velocity. And then I also disable the my normal movement keys. And the reason why I don't just simply use this and disable it like that, like the other ones, is because in theory the you know the the event the event still needs to be able to trigger, um, but it needs to do nothing. <laughs> um, otherwise, if you disable this event and you're jumping and now all of a sudden you're holding down the left or the right or whatever key uh, so after the jump you want to run in that direction uh, that doesn't get registered so the the key event still needs to get registered but it needs to do nothing so uh, what I do is I use a gate and I simply close the gate uh, when I run the disable uh, movement I close the gate uh, so this normal movement doesn't work and then I run a different uh, movement setup and uh, I, I enable and disable it basically in the same way I just open and close the gate um, in theory I guess I can just disable the actual event on that one but yeah so currently I've got it set up to to actually open and close the gate um, so the reason why I am using this one is so I can use the pressed event so um, while you are jumping and you're in the air you can push a button to steer the character just a little bit um, so it's not just a, a, a linear jump you you have just a little bit of control um, like you would in most games and um, so the reason why it doesn't work on the repeat is uh, for the reason that I mentioned before with the the set velocity it'll keep setting Z as well and uh, you don't you definitely don't want that so uh, otherwise you're either gonna run in the air uh, you know or you're gonna force the character down much quicker than it should be and you know the physics will look weird and things like that so weird stuff happens it's not cool um, so what I do is uh, this is pretty much the same it's just the up down left right keys right uh, same as these ones uh, these ones actually and um, uh, first thing I do is I, I just delay that event so that the character has time to actually reorient itself okay so these are the orientation controls and um, I just give this a chance to run and the character orientates itself and then run the run this event um, because it's not a it's not a repeat event it won't it won't eventually catch up with the character you know it, it'll just do it once and it's done and uh, okay so that's why I need that delay and uh, then the reason why I'm doing this stuff okay so again I'm getting the velocity of the character I'm only getting Z and uh, I'm plugging back uh, the Z and the reason why I'm doing that um, is while you're falling and you're pushing uh, left or right or whatever uh, when you set the velocity it will like I've mentioned before it will always set uh, whatever velocity you've got plugged in so um, if you've just got zero so in 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 the case of having some air control I want to set X right okay so that's fine that's that works set it to 250 and and you can kind of push the character around a little bit um, but it's also always gonna set Y and Z and 
Z should not be zero otherwise you can keep pushing left and right or up and down or something like that and basically make the character float okay so um, so what I do is I get the current uh, Z velocity and so it keeps setting you know if you push the key it actually sets the current velocity and it kind of holds the you know it, it, it kind of um, make the it, it makes the character move in the speed that it's currently moving at anyway so it it's almost like it's having no effect it it is in fact having an effect but it's almost invisible it's um, because the fall I, I've actually tweaked my uh, gra my gravity and stuff so uh, you know I want a fairly uh, quick jump and a, you know not too floaty and things like that so um, because of all that it actually um, feels right and it, it doesn't feel like you're floating around it doesn't feel like you're forcing the character in any way um, and this is the cleanest way I was able to actually figure that out I, um, I actually at some point just set Z to a minus point 0.1 and I used the velocity mag uh, which pretty much uh, sets you know takes your you know then you would set X to 1 uh, which is what I'm using over here for the running so I've got a walking speed so I can I can tweak that and change that and multiply it if I want um, just set the X to 1 and that actually creates your speed um, so if you use that on a pressed event uh, you just push it once and it'll keep running this um, you, you can actually make your character run by just pushing a button and letting go and it'll just run uh, so that's what that does but it, in, in this way I uh, kind of override that and I just set it once um, and that's why the Z actually works um, as well so I get the current velocity if you're falling down or going up or whatever the case might be uh, set the current velocity and then uh, Z will be set to that same velocity at that point in time for that split second that you're pushing the button and uh, you pretty much won't notice that it's modifying Z in any way um, and that's what that is all about so that's what makes my jump work uh, you know it's um, it seems a, it seems a bit overdone but you know like I've said um, the set velocity is the culprit and uh, it's it's kind of difficult to deal with you know it's uh, <laughs> because it keeps setting every channel um, you have to uh, I guess you have to come up with some creative ways you know uh, you know to to deal with uh, certain problems um, and there's no you know there's no actual re epic reference for this because you know in the jazz game is the best reference for for what I've got for what I'm doing and they just don't have jumping they don't have uh, the ability to climb up you know to fall down stuff and uh, and all that kind of stuff so um, that's my solution for for doing the jump.